do the habitat research. Come on, I'll give you a tour. We sell gorgeous building supplies and hardware at fantastic prices. Where do we get this stuff? We receive donations from local renovators, hardware, and building supply stores. Then we sell them at great prices. And that means our shoppers can do repairs and renovations at a fraction of the regular cost. We have tons of stuff to wrangle. So how do we ensure that you and everyone who comes through the door is safe in our ReStore? Let's start with the gear. Working at the ReStore means wearing long pants, even if it's sweltering, because we all face dings and bruises on the job, Ow! and long pants will minimize the carnage. We would like every volunteer to be identifiable to customers and donors. Wearing one of our ReStore shirts, vests, or aprons is a great way to get the customer's attention. It also means you're part of the team. So, what's your day going to be like working at the ReStore? Well, you might be asked to use power tools to cut something up or assemble something. Make sure you're working in a clean, uncluttered area at a safe distance from others. And if you've never used a specific power tool before, demand training. That's right, demand. Sometimes you'll be doing jobs where you have to protect your body parts with personal protective equipment, known as PPE. You see, that would have smarted if I didn't have the glove on. Take it from me, PPE can be the difference between sailing through a task safely and sailing through traffic in an ambulance. If you don't know how to use a piece of PPE, get some clues from someone who does know. And remember, at ReStore there's no such thing as a stupid question, so feel free to ask your supervisor anything, even do I look good in this PPE? There are tons of objects that come into and go out of ReStores every day. You'll be trained to lift and carry with the grace of a dancer. Here are the key points. A wise man with a herniated disc once said, the safest lift is no lift at all. So if you can safely slide or drag something, great. If not, your fellow volunteers will welcome a chance to grunt, shout, and lift together. By the way, some restores have lifting devices. Ask your supervisor for a guided tour of the equipment. When you do need to lift something, take the weight with your legs. This usually means sticking your butt out. Keep your spine straight and change direction using your legs. End of lecture. Oh, and this is something I always forget. When you need to move an object, do a dry run first and move any hazards that may be in your path. And that includes other humans. Oh, okay. When you boil it down, there are just two sources of danger in a restore, stuff and people. For example, we have many racks of stuff. Add someone like this guy and you now have a safety risk. This category of customer is a frequent visitor to the store. He likes to move things around and examine our inventory. So a key part of your job is putting stock back in its proper place after a customer finishes inspecting it. Which reminds me, slips, trips, and falls are easy to avoid. Just stay alert and perpetually scan the restore for safety boo-boos. Here are some easy ones to watch out for. Slippery spills, an abandoned extension cord, turned up carpet, or misplaced stock. You can save a preoccupied customer or staff person from injury, a visit to the emergency ward, or weeks of rehab just by correcting a hazard. Tidy up extension cords or tape them down, and also tape down frayed carpets. By noticing and fixing these hazards, you're actually using the RAC system. RAC is safety lingo for recognize, assess, and control. You recognize a hazard like a stray utility knife. Whoa. You assess its danger by torturing your imagination with potential accidents. And then you control the danger. Construction supplies include a slew of toxic substances and we stock many of them. If the container is labeled with exploding shrapnel, burning flames, or a skull and crossbones, please don't drop it, burn it, puncture it, freeze it, heat it, or drink it. If you're using one of these products to paint or clean something, wear the correct PPE. Not only does it keep you safe, it looks good. Nice PPE, Blake.
We often use ladders in the ReStore. You want to know the number one ladder tip? Never go up a ladder when you're distracted, irritated, or in a hurry. Also, don't be standing on those top three rungs. They're only there for balance, not to be climbed on. So come on down and get a bigger ladder. By the way, the ReStore first aid kit is hardly ever used because we like to keep it safe around here. But if something happens, like you get sawdust or debris in your eye, it's really important to stop and notify your supervisor. You might even need to flush your eye out at the eye wash station. Do not ignore eye irritations or you'll end up as a poster person. Some days you might get to go on pickup runs as a driver or driver assistant. These jobs have a few crucial guidelines since large vehicles are involved. You'll be trained to pay attention to every detail of safely loading, driving and unloading our precious cargo and that includes you. Okay, one more thing about the people side of the safety equation. Most ReStore customers are lovely polite people who appreciate the excellent value we offer but there are exceptions. If you see a customer who's acting odd or unreasonable in any way, don't worry. It's not your job to take any action in response. Just slip away and find your supervisor. He or she will deal with the customer professionally and the situation will be resolved peacefully and without further incident. As you go through your day, you might spot some breach of safety that you can't correct immediately or easily. Tell your supervisor. And meanwhile, make sure no one else comes in contact with the hazard. Some customers may need to be routinely tailed and cleaned up after. You'll get specific training for the work you'll be doing. Ask lots of questions. We love questions. And we love it when you're as committed to a safe and healthy restore as we are. One of the things I admire about people who volunteer with Habitat and Restore is that you don't just talk about poverty or homelessness, you do something to help. Your contribution to our Restore has huge value to Habitat because Restore proceeds help in furthering our mission. That leaves more money for buying land and building homes. And that helps Habitat for Humanity eliminate poverty housing and homelessness throughout the world. So you, are a big deal to us. Well, that about covers what you can expect working at the ReStore. Thanks for working with us to protect yourself and everyone who walks through the door of your ReStore. Even this guy. Help here. Need some help here. Okay. All right. Working with my boys and my girls at the ReStore, working with my boys.